So when we develop the new scope meter, we learned from our customers that a couple of things are important to them. That was adding channels, improving battery life, making it easier to exchange batteries, improving communication speed, and adding storage with a USB storage device. But maintaining the typical fluke attributes for a scope meter, being a robust, handheld, portable, sealed case, it was a very good product, a proven product in the market. Um, it was there for almost 10 years already and it did a great job for the end users. So how are you going to improve something that's already very good? <laughs> it's kind of uh, trying to improve a paperclip or something like that. And the old instrument was suitable for uh, category 3 and uh, what we now did was make it for category 4. That means you need uh, larger uh, clearances between uh, conductors in your instrument. And also we had to make it narrower to uh, comply with uh, the four channel demand. So you have a problem. You have less space and you need more distance. So we had to use uh, different kind of components. Some of the components uh, we could buy off the shelf. And other components we had to develop uh, ourselves. The main thing that sets it apart is uh, the low power, which makes it suited for uh, handheld products, but also um, the compactness. What we do nearly is, is to uh, integrate half an oscilloscope on a single chip. We wanted to get rid of all these, uh, these parallel chips. So we made a single chip acquisition system uh, with four input sections, and we made them in a way that you can uh, combine those channels to achieve uh, one, uh, one channel very high speed. Because then you have the maximum of, of low power, maximum of compactness, maximum of ruggedness. The other thing that uh, sets it apart, of course, is uh, the isolation of the channels. We had to go back to the end user. We, we interviewed 800 users what were the things to improve? I mean, there was one thing which was, wasn't easy. It was the battery. So that's something we had to start with, making a battery compartment easy to access, um, but still dustproof, waterproof. We added a battery door that allows customers to swap the battery easy when they're in the field. The previous product would give you three to four hours. This one can run up to seven hours. It's almost twice as long. What happens uh, in an instrument which is completely sealed is that the heat cannot get out. What we did in, in this instrument to avoid that is you have to use metal parts inside. The heat is generated by, by the parts and then transferred through the metal into the plastic housing to the outside. This is the only instrument that is completely sealed without any fans or, or holes. And there's no, no one else that has that. ...of the instruments firmware, we set up a test that we run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's an automated test. And that test, pressing, pressing that key enters the, the bit of code and all the assertions are correctly passed. When an when a illegal condition is met, the instrument stops. It mentions the line where the condition uh, is, is a problem and it starts all over. What we try to do is uh, we try to run that test and have the average before some illegal condition is met to have that average of key sequences up to a few thousand. Normally within 20 or 30 sequences he has done his job and he's finished with the instrument. Of course we get feedback of the existing uh, instruments. I'm pretty sure that the 190 series that it is now or can be used by users uh, that never experienced any of these hazards in the instrument during its use. Over what period of time? Um, lifetime. It's a total design that, uh, that makes, it, uh, makes it unique. 
you have to put uh, accuracy, high frequency behavior and safety in one instrument. I think it's a combination of these things. I mean, mixing the right values into one product. Those are the values of Fluke. This is the only product that offers you four channels in a sealed case, battery operated, handheld instrument, with a 1000 volt Cat 3, 600 volt Cat 4 safety rating. The only four channel scope you can take in a Cat 3 4 environment. In fact, it's the only scope you can take in a Cat 3 4 environment.